Do you guess what's happening and who's coming? It's Electric Felix with the Porsche. Look at this big smile. Shall we tell the uh, the BMW owner he can charge for half the price here? <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Aimness Supercharger next to a restaurant de Witte Bergen. This as you can see is a very fresh V3 situation. It's also easy to see that future expansion is so so simple. Anyway uh, what I really want to stress is that you can see that they made these stalls differently compared to the V2 that I just visited and I think when this was built they already knew what they were doing and it was already ready for open use because otherwise they wouldn't have built it like this that doesn't make any sense if you just build for Teslas so this was a plan from way earlier it's not new it wasn't invented last week and it's not a sudden weird decision this is all pre-planned so here we are with the Taycan 4S at the V3, V3 supercharger Aimness and as you can see I don't need to do anything special at all <laughs> it doesn't even listen to me and see I didn't even park till the border yet and I can already easily plug in doesn't matter how short this cable is it is long enough for the Taycan and we are not blocking anybody and you can repeat this at every stall which is very different from the V2 situation because there I needed to find a special stall to make this work here I can just use any stall not block anybody there is no problem welcome to the V3 supercharger Aimness I'm opening my Tesla app and checking out what's possible here why doesn't it show me the charger? I have to press search. But I guess the GPS is just wrong. Anyway, I can click it manually. Install 2C. I'm selecting 2C. As you can see, as a member, it's 24 cents per kilowatt hour. Over there, there are many AC chargers or even Allego fast chargers that are way way more expensive and I'm gonna not play by the rules so I'll press start charging first and then I'll plug in because that's what I do at other locations as well so plugging in is too easy even with the short cable the reach is so simple it tells us to wait for a maximum of two minutes but I think it'll go way faster let's see what the car says six percent I arrived with six percent I really tried especially for you guys it's still on the heating is on seat heating is on everything is on it's warming up took about 30 seconds I think it is warming up you can hear a sound coming from the supercharger. This is a cool situation because it's a V3. And it starts at 121 kilowatts. So that is exactly the same as the V2 earlier. Which is a surprise, I have to say. Did you use the precondition? No, I can't. So of course the Allego charger and the BMW are not friends, it's sad to see, but I have had the same experience back in Ghent, so I'm not surprised, you can check my old Polar Steps logs if you want to go there, 
let's see what's happening with the Taycan still at 124 so yeah that is interesting because that's the exact same charging speed as at the V2 I would have expected more but I guess this could be the 800 volt situation even though I would expect it to ramp up at least higher than this but that's a personal thing so many Teslas just arrived and everybody has a spot for themselves even though the Taycan is also taking a spot that's just what it's doing it's just taking a spot no worries here so even though it is ramping up to 128 kilowatts now it will obviously not explode suddenly so this is interesting the model 3 is changing stalls so does that mean that this one is broken i don't know i don't know but something happened they had to switch meanwhile it's stuck on 128 kilowatts so the quiet is back into the car turned everything off no more need to drain the battery 129 kilowatts Nanda just told me I have to change my line because normally I say see you at a fast charger soon which has to change to see you at a supercharger soon well we'll have to see if more superchargers open up but I will be back although I probably won't bring the Ionic 5 or the Taycan to a supercharger anytime soon because I want my 800 volts. Meanwhile at 30% the Taycan does 130 kilowatts. So yeah, it's only ramping up thanks to the voltage. So by now at 36% it is ramping up to 131 kilowatts. Clearly slower than Model 3 is over there, probably, but uh, yeah, we don't know. Ah, and the BMW is now charging at Allego. And another Model 3 arrives, who can just jump into any stall, because they're all free. Because the Taycan cannot block a stall here. No issue. So what is interesting to realize is that both the i3 and the iX3 can charge cheaper with a membership at Tesla and because they have the plug at the rear that should also make it easy for them to charge well actually of course it's at the other side of the rear so that might be a bit of a problem here so they actually would be better off going into the sand as to not block a Tesla charging here but yeah right now the BMWs are just using the Allego chargers which look a bit sad even though they're all in use which is great but yeah look at this Tesla charging palace of all the fast chargers and then compare it to one triple charger and two EFA checks meanwhile the Titan is at 132 kilowatts I will stop around 50 percent huh, so that is interesting because this is a different stall than where the other model 3 had issues and now there are issues over there as well meanwhile 133 kilowatts at 46 percent It is really interesting to see, by the way, that so many electric cars arrive here. And that old leaf at Allego has me intrigued. Super cool Chatamo. Everybody's gonna use this side because it seems that there's a problem with these chargers on the right. So everybody's charging on the left. This one is doing fine though. Active cooling from the charger, as you can hear. Cooling seems to be mainly going on down. No cooling for the Taycan because this is nothing for a Taycan, of course. It's only half the charging speed it can do. 
134 kilowatts at 50 percent. What is strange is that the prediction to full is an hour, which doesn't make any sense at this rate. As you can see, I charge nearly 40 kilowatt hours for 9 euros something, and that's enough for today. Ta da! Yeah. So, as to not get any idle fees, we're gonna unplug immediately. Oh, you need to press the button. Porsche has its own button there that you need to press before you can unlock. Thank you, Nander. See you next time at the supercharger. And now the car started to cool. Interesting. So the unfortunate news is that testing today has proven that there's no 800 volt going on at the Tesla V3 charger yet. It might be coming though because these chargers seem to support it. They have active cooling. I guess it is just... Uh, software but it might be more interesting than that future will have to prove this until then your Yonic 5 your Taycan your e-tron GT they will not go much further than 130 something kilowatts I think see you at a fast charger soon visiting the supercharger with your Taycan not an issue if it's a modern v3 in the Netherlands Ciao Tesla, thank you for the cheap charge. One more thing though, thank you for watching the charging session today and thanks even more to the owner of the Taycan that I could do some testing at the Tesla supercharger. Thank you so much. So here we have a gas station which normal people use. Normal people unfortunately don't understand how cheap driving electric can be. This is the Tesla Supercharger V3 at Aimness, where if you become a member, you can charge up for 24 cents per kilowatt hour and a fixed cost of 13 euros a month. This is some bonus content with the Kona. We're gonna show you how you can charge the Kona without blocking the stall, although this is not possible in every location this is possible because we're lucky and we like to not block any teslas from charging that's not why we're here Ooh, i found a broken supercharger even though i hope that the supercharger actually works of course Woo! some plastic who is this kona blocking right nobody